Peggy 18. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.5 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. Okay, so, on this episode, we are going to be dealing with the 11th and 12th of winter, so we do not have any birthdays, and we have our local doctor's birthday on the next episode so probably i'm gonna give him coffee or i'm gonna see if he loves some other stuff and after that we're gonna have the night market which is gonna be a lot of fun too so yeah since we do not have any birthdays or events right now theoretically if it would be neutral day or a lucky day i might try to go into these caverns in order to get more iridium and see how far can we get there are lots of things which we need to do, however, at the farm as well. So let's go take a look at the TV, uh, see what the weather will be tomorrow. Okay, so it's gonna snow. And today, okay, so today is a neutral day, so theoretically I might try to go into these coal mines. It will depend. And living off the land. There's a couple of fish you can only find in winter, squid and ling cod. Squid can be caught from the ocean in the evening, ling cod can be found in fresh water all day. Of course, there's rumors of extremely rare something because I have unfortunately misclicked and now I have to do this. Of course, there's a rumor of extremely rare and unique fish that can only be found in particular seasons, but I don't have any information on them. So they are obviously talking about the legendary fish, and I'm not really sure if I will be able to reel it in. I have already tried and kind of failed, and as you can see, I have a backpack full of junk from the previous episode still. I'm gonna have to make a chest and dump in a bunch of these things in order to free up some of this space, because, I mean, we have super meal and other stuff which I really don't have any use for right now. And if I will want to gather everything around the farm, I'm gonna need that free space. So let's take a look at the snapshot of the farm. So, we see that the cheese has been done. Robin is gonna be working inside of the first barn, upgrading it so we can finally get some goats. It looks like only one keg has wine in it and I have missed some kegs, so theoretically I can put in coffee if I have some, so I will have it for Harvey. And then in the fish ponds, we have the yellow sea cucumber row, we have one lava eel row, a bunch of stuff in the crab pots. It looks like below that, by the trees, there is seaweed washed up. And on the other side of the island or farm where the greenhouse is, there is some other floatsome which has washed up by the greenhouse. So yeah, I'm gonna probably have to get all this processed, but hopefully it's gonna help us get a bunch of things done. I still will require the frozen tears in order to increase the ice bit population. So yeah, that, that's gonna be fun too, but uh, I'm gonna have to seriously look for some space for these things to be dropped off to. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get rid of the dark sword. Uh, the pumpkin soup would definitely be a great addition to a skull cavern expedition. We have only one iridium ore. And since I have the workbench and the chests over here, it, it's kind of uh, difficult for me to decide if I will eventually move that over here so that I can be smelting the bars by the furnaces and I don't have to move from the behind of the barns over here. Now I'm able to craft a bunch of things because we do have resources but I kind of want to preserve those for some additional work with I don't know maybe having to construct the second big barn and such so i'm i'm gonna see i really don't want to go that crazy on making for example preserve jars although it would totally help me to get like four done and therefore i would be able to pickle a whole lot more stuff because yeah as you can see we still have 
plenty of things to go through, including cranberries, blueberries, and since we have stuff inside of the greenhouse, eventually we're gonna get some more out of that too. Mm, so yeah, really need to find a proper place for some of these things. I would love to find out where in the hell do I now keep the forgeables in order for me to make some of the newly added uh, winter seeds because yeah based on the snapshot none of them are still ready so it's gonna still take a while okay so let's do this let's drop off the coffee inside I'm not gonna be making more triple shot espressos right now, it's kind of pointless, I do have three of them. And if I will take some of these dishes, it should be sufficient enough to help me in the Skull Mine Expedition. Okay, so let's drop off whatever I can right now, and let's do all the chores around the farm. Starting off with the Mushroom Cave, let's take a look at what's inside. Okay, so we have five common mushrooms, one red mushroom. Fortunately, we cannot make anything from that combination. Uh, we are gonna be doing the crap pots. Really hoping we're gonna get a whole lot more muscle, so eventually when I get to the ginger or fern island, or what you want to call it, I'm gonna be able to pick up a bunch of stuff over there. And the mango sapling. Okay, that's nice. The omni geodes, that's a nice addition. Unfortunately, nothing is ready inside of the greenhouse. Okay, we are getting some muscles. I'm gonna let the trees reach full maturity for now because I want to make sure that I will get the most amount of wood out of them. Looks like one of the mahogany trees has finally reached full maturity, but I really don't want to bother with that right now. So, we need three more frozen teardrops. That should be manageable. Sturgeons are almost, well, one of the... Sturgeon fish ponds is at 7, one of the lava eel row or lava fish ponds is at 7, second one almost at 7 too. So soon we're gonna have a bunch of fish ponds requesting items for upgrading the population. That's gonna be interesting. Especially considering what they might be asking for, so who knows. Okay. Now, let's get rid of whatever it is that I do not currently require. So these things can be donated over here for now. Still need to milk my cows. I apparently did miss some of those. Eggs to be filled in, so I'm gonna try to correct that. I'm gonna put in the row which I currently have in my backpack. I'm not really sure if I have any more somewhere. Yeah, it looks like I do. Seriously, it would be awesome if I could make like four of these. It should not totally ruin my uh, wood reserves, and this should accommodate. Damn, I cannot actually... Uh, it won't allow me to build those preserve jars over there. Interesting. Oh, well, at least I'm gonna be able to put them over here. And once I get a shed, of course, uh, I will move all of them inside. So let's take the row and let's get rid of that. It's actually shocking how much row the yellow cucumbers are making, but eventually I will start taking out the yellow cucumbers out of the fish pond and start putting them into a chest so that I have sufficient reserve of them for production of lucky lunches once I get the recipe. I'm not even sure if I got the recipe yet, so who knows. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so let me finish off with the Moomoos and then we can theoretically head out into these Skull Caverns. I do wonder if I will be able to make a dent in the Iridium supplies over there. Theoretically, I can also take a look at how much starfruit seeds do I have here at the farm and I might be tempted to purchase some. Now that I am actually getting 12 milk or somewhere around in that ballpark. I'm not really sure why one of my Moomoos did not have milk for me. It's kind of strange. I mean, they are getting fed, so... I'm not really sure well, what's the deal there. And eventually I will need to pick up poops as well, because if I will ever want to fill Gus's omelet special quest where I need like two dozen eggs That is gonna take a while especially considering the fact that I accidentally clicked on the mini obelisk And lost the train of thought um, Especially considering the fact Yeah, that we can only accommodate four chickens in one coop so yeah, it's gonna take a while. Well, in the initial coop, of course, you can upgrade the coop twice and get it to the deluxe coop, and then you can have 12 chickens in one coop. But I like to mix it up, and now that the ducks are cheaper, and eventually when we get to the Fern Island, it's good to have duck feathers for Leo, I definitely want to go heavy on the ducks on this farm. Okay, so... I think that is about it. I'm not really sure right now where I kept the... Uh, seeds for... Just about anything. It's gonna be kind of awkward. I'm still missing crystal fruit in order to make and snow yams in order to make an initial or additional set of winter forageable seeds and I really don't want to spend the day looking for them and it's also getting super late right now because it's past 12 so, how about I take just the necessary stuff with me? And then we can head on to the Skull Cavern. Okay, so there is... This one, which can be populated. And I want to grab the pumpkin soup and the other stuff. Where the heck did I put that stuff? Ah, here I keep the seats. Okay. I keep changing it so much, I, I don't remember anymore. Okay, so... First of all, where did I put that pumpkin soup which I purchased for myself? This is horrible. Am I blind or something? I'm not really sure if I want to take the miner's treat. Uh, I mean, it would be nice if I would be finally able to upgrade the pickaxe to the iridium quality, that's for sure. Okay, what else do I not need? And also, getting some explosives would be nice too, because I currently don't have any. So let's go see Dwarf quickly, and then we can try to venture to these Skull Caverns. It's past 1 p.m. I really don't know what the hell is wrong with me and why I cannot ever do this a bit better. You know, it's just being able to do it before 12. No, I'm not a spy. Stop with the chit chat and give me bombs. Okay, let's grab like 70 of them. I'm not taking any stone, so hopefully the explosives are gonna help me to get a sufficient quantity of stone so that I can make some staircases. cases. 
really also have to monitor my expenses because if I will end up not having enough money for either venturing in here or upgrading my tools, that is going to be one really awkward situation. Okay, there is plenty of cactus fruit and coconuts. I'm going to actually take those and I'm going to grab some star fruit. And this is gonna kind of put a pressure on me because if I would die in these coal mines, I can theoretically lose those hundred seeds. So that would be really bad. And I know I should not be wasting time right now collecting coconuts, but you can give coconuts and cactus fruit to plenty of people. For example, Linus loves this stuff. Okay, and we're gonna start us off with the pumpkin soup and get two buffs. And this is gonna be an interesting run, therefore. Neutral day. Frozen tear straight out of the gate. Beautiful. I do hear a serpent, but I'm not gonna stick around too long. Okay, beautiful. Aquamarine, iron. There's the emerald, seriously? When I needed this stuff, no, you're not going to give it to me. But then all of a sudden, when I don't need it, sure. We're in level 2 of Skull of Mines, and I already came across stuff which I was chasing for days. I hit, hit something behind the community center. Good to know. And there is a treasure in the oasis. If I will have the time, I might try to pick it up, but that's highly questionable. So now... Okay, let's grab everything we can. I really don't want to pop a triple shot espresso because I'm petrified that the buffs from the pumpkin soup would suddenly vanish. So that would be pretty damn awkward situation on my end. I'm still not really sure which of the dishes can you really go and mix freely in order for the buffs to cooperate together without like canceling out one another. Okay, and I feel like I should eat something, just in case, because our HP is running surprisingly low. If I get one more frozen tier, that is gonna be awesome. Let's clear out this level. Might get at least some stone out of this since we are here. Now, I tend to avoid uh, killing the large slimes. I know that they can theoretically drop the slime eggs, but because I never have slime hatchery, because it, I, I just don't see the point of it, there are much more convenient ways for you to make money or just do whatever you want on your farm. The slime hatchery has never really attracted me and my farms, so I'm not really sure. I'm gonna leave that, of course, up to you, but it's probably not something which I'm gonna feature on my farm. There is even a ruby. Now, we know that the quests might be in rotation until they are fulfilled, so I'm really tempted to uh, gather all the resources such as the topaz, emerald, ruby and such and wait for me to... Curiosity Lure. I'm not even sure what the heck that is. I've never seen that before. Might be some new content from the 1.5 patch. Please, I'm gonna get some solar sense so I don't have to buy it from Robus there. Uh, so far, no luck of finding the ladder to the lower levels. And I don't really think that I have sufficient supply of stone. Yeah, I can make one ladder, but honestly, I would rather preserve the stone reserves right now in case I would run into one of those annoying levels where there you need to kill everything. Man, I would kill for a mega bomb right now. Okay, uh, can I drop something in order to? Let's read this. To Haley and Emily, hope you two are doing well. I've sent you your favorite gifts. Pancake and sunflower for Haley, gemstones and wool for Emily. Love mom and dad. Aw, that's so nice. 
okay, this is gonna get us to a certain thing. So I might try to eventually get it. Who knows? Whoa, there's a lot of stone here. So the bombs are gonna do a quick work of the entire area. And I'm gonna try to pick up as much of the resources as possible. Because sure, I can use the stone for either making the staircases, but also I will require stone for additional construction of fish ponds and more. So yeah, this was definitely a good investment. Uh, I'm gonna ditch the mixed seeds and grab the earth crystal. Another ruby, another topaz. I would really like to take the... Huh. Can make the coconuts and cactus into wine. I'm trying to determine what would be a good thing to sacrifice. I'm gonna ditch the clay and that should have given me the topaz. This is why it's important to have free backpack so that you can take the important stuff in case it would show up. I really don't like the separation of all the rocks here. Uh, I really need to grab that red mushroom so that it won't get destroyed. I uh, really hate using bombs here because the rocks are not that heavily populated in one area. So coming across the ladder or just dropping a bomb in here is kind of a waste of a resource. And I really don't want to keep running around here, so... Let's make a staircase. Let's go to the lower level. We are so far in level 16, unfortunately, uh... Damn it. That did not go well. How is the HP doing so far? The pumpkin soup is definitely helping out. I really want to grab the quartz. Be able to give it to Marnie or something. Ah oh, man. What do I want to drop? I'm definitely taking the coal. Red mushrooms can be sold and increase the foraging skill. Cloth is nice. It's an artisanal item, so it sells well too. I need topaz, jade, and emerald, and even ruby for Emily's quests when we get the rock rejuvenation eventually. So, god damn it. I'm gonna have to ditch the quartz. Do you hear a serpent? Okay, thank you for a bomb. There's an amethyst, so let's grab that. I'm gonna put a bomb at the center island here. Hopefully we're gonna get the ladder. Awesome. Okay, uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Another diamond note. Hey, usually I keep getting the diamond notes on neutral days. I'm, I'm not really sure what's your experience regarding this. Let me know. Uh, you know what? I don't really want to be dropping more bombs here if I don't have to. And I should stop touching every mummy and so. Because I'm taking some serious damage here. Despite the fact that I have still that buff running. It's awesome what pumpkin soup can do. Unfortunately, the only way you can get the recipe is to befriend Robin up to seven hearts. If you don't do that, you cannot get the recipe by mail. Ooh, there's like, what, the second chef we ever came across so far? Uh, not a good level, honestly. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time here if I don't have to. Whoa! This is kind of heavily populated here. Uh, let's double check. Okay, this is actually Iridium. Good to know, good to know. So our first Iridium node in level 26. And I need to get rid of something. I'm gonna get rid of the one Silver Star Coconut. 
Ooh, first treasure chest. Uh, dark cowboy's hat. Interesting. Let's see how this looks. Uh, I like it, but I also love my fedora. This is seriously rubbing me the wrong way. I'm gonna have to ditch something. Uh, I wanna keep the fedora no matter what. I'm not really sure what to drop at this point. I really wanna keep this because uh, I'm not really sure how it will work. Maybe we can try it tomorrow in order to catch the ice fish or the glacier fish or what's the legendary fish name. You know what? Uh, what if I would make... Would this help? Yes. Okay, so this way I have five mega bombs. And I can keep the fedora. I'm definitely gonna be dropping a mega bomb somewhere in here because it's just asking for it. Okay, another diamond node. Wow. Not really sure if this is by the pumpkin soup or what's happening. Uh, this is gonna be Iridium Crab just because it's actually on the sand, so I'm not gonna bother with him. Yeah, he can drop theoretically the crab cakes, but uh, if I don't have to, I definitely don't want to stay here. That is a big no-no. Uh, seriously, being surrounded by a bunch of serpents, that can be really bad. one can deal the killing blow and ruin the entire run for you so I'm not gonna try to risk it I really need to get that freaking botanist skill already because this is just killing me yeah this is just a common red mushroom so I have just exchanged two silver ones for one regular one awesome I'll try to go and drop an explosive down here. I was really hoping for a ladder. 1140. We're gonna have to do the run back to the farm eventually too. Not that much iridium which I came across so far, which is kind of a problem because if I don't pick up enough iridium, I will not be able to upgrade the pickaxe so let's eat the last glazed yams in order to recover the HP no ladder can drop a mega bomb over here it's a large space theoretically it should clear out the entire area you hear a serpent uh, 169 Ooh, shaft, okay. Might as well get some more additional cool stuff. Like one diamond, I'll take it. Actually, I am tempted to take all that gold. Okay. Really want to try the ladder. Second emerald. Please tell me you are not an Iridium Crab or I'm gonna get angry. Ah, awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna call it quits, uh, level 40. Ah, uh, maybe on a luckier day we would get more chances to come across shafts, but the pumpkin soup was definitely helping, especially because, uh, well, I haven't played Stardew Valley in quite a while since the last episode, and uh, I was busy with the Queen of Sauce versus the NPC recipes, so at least you know how long does it take for you to see the episode past that big project, that is if you have seen it, if not, go check it out, lots of fun. It took me forever to put together, and I do need the views. Okay, um... Uh, 
what is in these things and what can I sell before I pass out outside? So I'm gonna be able to make two iridium bars of you know what it's 150 I cannot manage to do it today I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow so at least we get some money uh the pickled pumpkin definitely saved me good call on going to deal with that the fishing is of course nice as well thanks to the crab pots so 12,000 gold, oh, I mean, could have been better, but I have spent a lot of money on explosives and such. So today is Friday, so theoretically I can go take a look at the traveling merchant. Maybe she's going to have something decent. And, uh, okay, it's going to be snowing on the next episode, and today is not a lucky day. So maybe I will not go to the skull mines, but we can theoretically try to go to the beach and i can try to catch some squid because squid can be only caught in a certain time frame during winter max i'm researching the forgotten art of shadow divination i require an item known as void descent bring it to me and you will be rewarded okay i theoretically do have a bunch of those on me currently so we should be fine I'm gonna take some of those pumpkins because, well, we're gonna be pickling them. So this is gonna get processed, and I seriously need to make like another chest for some of this stuff. Pale ale is done. I'm gonna drop the cactus and the coconuts into the kegs. There any more? No. Okay. So I can grab hops or something else. Okay, let's go and make that chest. I'm gonna probably put it over here for now. Yeah, let's just dump. All of this in here. I'm really tempted to be using the curiosity lure and put the additional five milk into the cheese presses. I need to pick up the milking pail or the bucket for milking or what you want to call that thing with the rest of my tools. Uh, frozen tear. We need those things for the ice pips. And I think I picked up three of them, right? Damn it! I'm still missing one. This is really annoying. Oh man, it's taking forever for the ice pips to get a higher in the population. Which is a shame because they have really decent value on their row so i really am considering eventually maybe getting a second fish pond with them who knows okay let's see what's inside of the crab pots i see a lot of trash i'm not happy with that but okay uh let's recycle we get a bunch of muscles out of this shebang, so at least something's gonna come out of this. Still need to go and check the additional wrap pots. Did pick up a lot of row. Good to know that the mahoganies are growing, especially considering the fact that I keep using the speed grow if I get enough bone parts for the bone mill. I'm really actually enjoying the addition of the bone mill, it's, it's really nice and I cannot wait to see what the other recipes or craftable 
tools uh, will allow me to do eventually. Sure, having the rock rejuvenation fulfilled, we would be able to do the uh, crafting of our own clothes. And there are some really fun ones, so I would really love to try and get those. But uh, it depends. I mean, honestly, you can even put food with cloth and you will get uh, variations in clothes. So it's, it's going to be interesting, certainly. Coffee is done here. Awesome. Now, because I have actually picked up coffee in uh, the previous day, I should be able to have enough of it inside of the fridge to give it to Harvey. Still need to milk these. Ooh, this is now finished. That is great news, because theoretically that means that I can go see Robin and request additional upgrade of my farm buildings. Or I can put in like another fish pond or something. It, it's, it will heavily depend on what resources will I have available here at the farm. Hey, do we have any additional trash? Yes, we do. So everything in except of the mussels, because we need those for the mango saplings. I can actually milk my moose. don't have milk this is really weird <sighs> so since we are gonna be going and asking to put in another structure I can theoretically also purchase for goats from Marnie so that's additional expenses but it should be totally worth it. Uh, I'm not really sure if I will be able to go for a coop yet. I still want to determine where would be the best place for coops, to be perfectly honest. But it would be a nice addition to get the initial coop, honestly. I just really want to make sure that I will have them by those three uh, which are growing uh, out of the water on the right side of the farm so that I can have them swimming around in the water. That's gonna look really pretty. Okay, so we need to put some additional stuff into... the greenhouse too. Let's... So theoretically, we can do this. I can go see Robin, put in requests for additional upgrade. I can then go see Marnie, uh, followed by Traveling Merchant, followed by trying to use the Curiosity Lure in order to catch the Glacier Fish, if it's going to even work out for me. And I also cannot forget about uh, putting this to be smelted. Because I should have done that a long, long time ago. Okay, so let's see what can we do. Another diamond. Awesome. Theoretically, I can actually keep the diamond for gifting purpose. Okay, so we have 141. Soon we're gonna have enough for two of them. I don't know if I have enough cacks free for starfruit wine production. Can keep those over here. I can put you guys over here. So how much do we need in order to make a big barn? That's the big question because I never remember this. I need 450 stone, so I'm missing, f or 450 wood, so I'm missing 5 wood, and 200 stone. Now, 
Okay. And 12,000 gold. So that should be manageable. Okay, now let's pop the triple shot and let's haul ass to Robin's place. And then we're going to see Marnie, traveling merchant, and try to capture the glacier fish. Apparently I can try to chop down one of these trees if they are ready. Apparently no. Okay. Ooh, a cutscene. Oh, hello, Max. What, you haven't seen my motorcycle before? Hmm, I guess I haven't shown it to you. Sometimes after sundown, I make the long ride out of Stardew Valley. There's nothing else like it blazing along the empty stretch of road toward the faint city glow. Once I've saved up enough money, I'm going to head out on my own to the city and beyond. Just me and my bike. There we go, oil's changed. Hey, maybe I'll let you ride sometimes if you want. That sounds fun. No thanks, that sounds stupid. I'm scared of motorcycles. Let's go with that sounds fun. Although I am scared of motorcycles and with my fat ass I'm sure as hell not gonna be climbing on one anytime soon. But we are getting the cutscene because I was able to give him sashimi on his birthday, so... Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, this should be theoretically the um, big tree where eventually Leo will be able to make his tree house if he moves to the valley. But for that, you need to reach like seven hearts with him. So that's going to take forever. Okay, so 2 p.m. Should have now the resources. So big barn, big barn, big barn. Let's go with this one. And after this is done, we're gonna put in the request for additional fish ponds. Should I be taking this route? This is not the most proficient route, but I do have the effects of the triple shot espresso. Okay, so. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm not gonna be trying to catch herring because, um... Damn it, yeah, I already passed the opportunity to catch the squid. It's too late right now for that. Okay, let's go into the cinder sap woods, uh, talk to Marnie and get our goats. And sure, I can name my cows Moo Moo's, but I have no idea what to call my goats. Should I go like Ba Ba or what should I name them? Uh, purchase animals. So we do want four goats in order to get. I'm probably gonna regret this later on, but let, let's go. Uh, I really don't want to call them goat one, goat two. That's just horrible. I'm just gonna probably give them the generated names from the game. It's, it's gonna make a total mess out of the entire system. I'm well aware of that. Okay, that's pretty name. And two more. Bunners. That's interesting. <laughs> I almost read this snoo snoo. <laughs> I, 
I do wonder how did Eric code this in? Because I see that some of the names are actually repeating themselves, so I'm just wondering. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's take a look at the traveling merchant. We can also take a look at the secret woods, get some hardwood, and maybe there's gonna be something forgeable in there. Tilapia, hardwood, salmonberry, sturgeon, no, 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 bruschetta, blueberry, rare crow again. I was hoping for some sweet jamberry seeds. Uh, damn it, I totally forgot to bring the Void Descents for Wizard. I should still be able to come back and do that. At least it will give me a reason to take a look at the tappers and see if they have been able to give me the oak resin and maple seal herb by this time or if I'm still gonna have to wait. I would kill for crystal fruit or frozen yams. You can theoretically try to hold land. No? No. Yeah, okay. Most unfortunate, but it will have to do. So nothing to forage here, a huge disappointment. Not really sure till what time can I go see the wizard. Let, let's check it on the wiki. And the wizard tower is open from 6 a.m. till 11 p.m. So yeah, let's go back to the farm, grab the Void Essence, and this should allow me to give him that resource. Come on. Frozen Yam. That's one. That's two. Now all I need is Crystal Fruit. And we can make additional winter forageable seeds. Because soon we're gonna reach half of the season and then it's just gonna be super annoying. Okay, this is new. So that is still being smelted. You can drop off the coffee. Over here. I don't have any wood in here. That's interesting. I need to sell the dark sword. Hops, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have an issue because I do not have wood. So, next structures which are gonna be built on the farm are most likely gonna be fish ponds, but even with stone, I have a certain shortage. So, I'm gonna have to be smart regarding this. Uh, let's pick up the void essence. Let's go see Rosmondius. And let's see if I will be able to catch the legendary fish using this weird thing. And we still have after that time to theoretically go and sell that sword. Because the guild is opened until 10 p.m. At that point, I will not be able to sell it. So let's give you this. 
Can we get anything from you right now? No, I think we need to first finish off the community center in order for me to be even able to consider stuff like Junimo Hut and stuff like that, but this is not the best form for Junimo Hut, so if you have your heart set on having them on your farm, uh, I would recommend different farm layouts, such as the basic farm, or four corners, or... Yeah, those are probably like the best layouts if you have your heart set on getting Junimo Hut on your farm, because it, it just takes a lot of space, and yeah, if you want to have the most effect out of it, Try to use those forms. Okay, let's see how this thing works. So we are trying to reel in the legendary fish. But I'm not that optimistic. Also considering the fact that I want to do something with the guild. I'm really sure how long will I be here. I might have to pop one more triple shot espresso in order to make that run to the minecarts, get to the mines, get out, and sell the sword. I do wonder how much can I get for it. You know what? This is not working out. So maybe I'm going to try to catch the legendary fish on some other day. But yeah, I, I think I'm gonna cut off the episode around here. So if you did like it, you know what to do. If you want to know what the channel is currently up to, the best way to find out is to subscribe. I publish content on a weekly base. I do mostly playthroughs because they take the least amount of time. And in between that, I try to process different videos and different projects for the channel to keep it entertaining for all of you. Uh, check out the channel. Uh, Link is in the description. I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day. Hopefully you are staying safe. And I will see you on the next one or in the comment section. Thank you for watching everyone. Stay safe and bye bye for now. Come on, we can do it. Good evening to you too, sir. There's the 450 for that. You're asking 50,000 for a galaxy sword. God damn. Okay, well, I was able to at least come across the crystal food and such. There we I should be able to make more of those forgeable seeds.